And we're back, fellow knife and outdoor gear enthusiast. C and... Jewel, just Jewel. And we're exploding with new knives and gear from... Cansip. Spartan Blades. Savivi. Ho. We knife. And... Beyond EDC. Thursday night's all right, all right. So we're going to start with the Wee Ziphus. Okay, guys? So there's six different options for this, all of which are amazing. But I'm going to try and hold my bias until the end. So this folder is 8.72 inches overall with a 3.7 inch Hacapella Dama Steel Warncliffe blade with flag grind jumping and 0.13 inch thickness. There are other options of course with CPM 20 CV steel that we know and love from Lee and various finishes like the hand rub satin and a two-tone black and stone wash. Handle on this one is gray 6AL4V titanium with twill carbon fiber and flame anodized accents only on the floor models. Mm. Like the pivot cap and the tip of pocket clip. Yay, look at the little Wii logo on there. That's cute. The Hacapella steel. Is that what you're talking about? No, there's a little Wii logo on oh, there. Oh, I got you. I got on you. The anodized clip. It's uh, cool. My Hacapella group. The Mahal Tone Rangers. Oh, I was thinking quarter black. Uh-huh. Oh, blade is open with either the dual-sided thumb studs, gem flipper tab, or button lock. Doop. Bam. Yeah, I know. That one was less uh, anticlimactic there. Operating on cage ceramic ball bearings, this button lock folder has titanium hardware, you know, screws and stuff like that. An integral back spacer, <coughs> and comes with pouch, cleaning cloth, and stickers. Best part, limited edition to 150 pieces. Hmm. The Wii Ziffus can be yours starting at just $334.25 from AlanaKnife.com. All right. Of course, if the Hacapella Damas steel is a little bit more. So Hacapella. is it... A, <laughs> excuse me. Save that for later. Okay. Is the 150 pieces for each style? I think it is. I looked at a couple and they all said 150, but okay. it might vary on well, like one. Like at one, they did 150, 260, yeah. 310, 195. I think, I think all of these are 150, I think. Interesting. It is. Interesting. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Well. Considering they're only 150, they probably won't be in stock. No, no, for no, no. Long. Not for long. Limited. Yeah. I mean, obviously, so you better grab one <clears throat> like I just did. Okay. All right, so I'll go first. I love this knife, if you couldn't tell from the beginning when I said all options are amazing. I've liked a lot of Wii knives before, but this is an easy top favorite, okay? It's got the gym flipper tab. It's got the interesting look, the high-end materials, and it's a button lock, and it's limited edition, and it's got all those little flame anodized titanium accents. I mean, come on. That has my name written all over it. Of course, it is a little high compared to like the massive beauty knives that you see from Max Ace recently. But those aren't limited edition. This one is. So gorgeous knife, great design. I'm all in. Now all I have to do is, you know, rob the industrial and commercial bank of China. And I'll be all set to procure me that one. Alright, so that's my Anabash view. I've pegged my bank account How to theirs. You? Oh have you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't first of all I don't think the Max Aces are gonna be overproduced if you know what I mean. I think their price makes them limited. Um, I actually like the knife also. I like the styling of the blade. I like nice. the button lock part. I like the nice hint of blue inside, mm -hmm. outside. It's really well done. Of course everything that they do is well done. So once again, I mean how much is this? Six bills? This one I think is around yeah, six. Yeah, that's what I figured. hundred something. So you know, three something to six something. Pick you up one. There it is. Yeah. Alrighty! We're on to the Hogue Extract. Yay! We promised it last week, and here it is. Oh, no. Fixed blade. There we go. Comes in two options, orange and black. We have the black option with us today, so 7.375 inch overall, 3.3 inch CPM M4 tool steel clip point blade, which has been cryogenically, I won't make my Ted Williams joke, heat treated, given a hand 
honed edge. Wow. Mm -hmm. nice. Hand honed. Can't beat that for an edge. That's great. Flat grind and black Cerakote finish. Comes to about 62 to 64 on the HR C scale. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like we all didn't know what you just did there. Everybody knows. Yeah. It's all one piece of solid CPM M4 tool steel with the black removable G10 scales that have the uh, the peel ply texture that Hogue apparently is trying to break out. It's just the, the texturing, that's it. Um, there's a lantern hole also. It comes with a black Kydex sheath. So, there you go. And an ulti clip, you know, for on the go pack or bell killer, whatever you want to do. Weighing just 1.9 ounces. Mm. Yeah, I know. You can extract yourself from any situation with the Hogue Extract for only $179.96 from AtlantaKnife.com. Yeah, okay, you can go first. Well, the simplicity of this knife, I mean, is just. So thin. I mean, that is the deal. You Look know that episode it. of Burn Notice where he shoves that knife at the top of the attache case and it is like this thin? I imagine it being that knife because that knife is easily just concealable right ounces. in there. Yeah. Wow, that is tremendous. It is. I like it. It's a nice knife. Feet it'd be, of engineering. If it goes with the scalpel, it I'm does, not really. It does you know, go with it. That's what they know. say. Well, I like this world's better than the scalpel, to be perfectly honest. I can actually see a man or a woman actually using this knife and not just for game. It's lightweight, so you can carry it often. Mm -hmm. Sturdy, easy to clean, which, if you are using it for game, is a big plus because you, you got to be able to clean it. So you know it's, stuff's going to get in between there, so you would be able to take off the scales. All in all, I'd say it's a solid knife from Hogue. Yeah, it's interesting. At 1.9 ounces, mm -hmm. that makes it $1,500 a pound. Pointing it out. Makes it what? Fifteen hundred dollars a pound. One point nine ounces at sixteen ounces in a pound. Eight times the price. Why would you feel the need to disclose that? Like that? Why would you disclose that? Oh, I do everything by the pound. Pounds of the pound. <coughs> how about how about the whole thing? The, technically, this. You want to throw in the cardboard too? Yes. Seven options coming up on our Trying next one. Trying to help the extra. Let's go ahead. What is it again? The concept. Integra. Integra. There it is. Yep. The options are blue, bronze, gray silicone carbide in plain and Damascus. I guess that's four. Lightning option. And finally, a blackout and blue black G10. Those last two are coming soon. So we've got the bronze option. Yep, it's 8.5 inches overall with a 3.62 inch Bowler M390 drop point blade. Wow, mm. I haven't heard from Bowler M390 in a while. And flat grind plant edge, and on this option it has a stone wash finish. So the handle, of course, is the bronze anodized titanium with the tip up right hand pocket clip, which is the same bronze anodized titanium. Finally, this frame locks blade is deployed with a slightly gemmed flipper stud and comes with a pouch and cleaning cloth. Very nice. Yep. Get a Cansep Integra starting at just $1.99 from Atlantic Knife. All right, go ahead. Well, at first glance, this mm -hmm. knife reminded me a lot of a real steel. I was thinking real steel too. But once it's in your hand, you no longer think that. <laughs> it is completely, I mean, it's half the weight, first of all. And it's uh, not a... It's its own thing. Not a bulky handle. Very sleek handle. As you can tell, the blade fits just in there. There is no room for movement because there's no room for anything but the blade pretty much in there. Um, I like how easy it is to close and how smooth it is to open. I also like the uh, blade shape. The What do you want to call it? I don't know what name you give that. But to me my type of knife. Nice. I too think it's a very interesting design. However, I think price-wise it's a little high <gasps> considering AK still has those titanium Kaiser knife wheels <laughs> starting at just 78 and then from landknife.com and then the CGR Pyrite titanium. Of course, none of those have Bowler M390. I think some of them have S35BN, mm -hmm. but I do like the many options that uh, the Cansep Integra offers and the quality is there. I just think it's like anything these days. It's just a little too high. Just Jewel, broken record. Mm. I know, but I, I call it like a All right, how about the next one? You think it's too high? No. We got the I Spartan Blades possible. George Raider Dagger. But first, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring a ding that bell.
That way you get access first to all our content. And be notified when we drop new stuff. You also get automatically entered into giveaways. So right now, we were hosting the Finch Knives, but now we are hosting the Tops Express Your Love for Knives giveaway. Tops so, Express Your Love for Knives giveaway. And I believe it's on oh, my desk. Is that supposed to be Express Yourself? Yeah, it was Express uh, Yourself. Uh, I get it. Express get your, it. your Love for Knives. All right, so we got a little different type of giveaway. Just a little. So what we're going to do now is instead of just leaving a comment about the, the video, How which you're still more than welcome to do, we want you to. Thank you. We want you to tell us what your favorite knife is of all time and why. You can do this down below or on AK's blog. There will be a special post for you guys to leave a comment or a photo <clears throat> of you and your knife if you like. Oh, I'm not saying this. <laughs> okay, you can also email them to Wendy at salesatlandknife.com. I even put her name in there for you. A winner will be chosen from either YouTube, AK's blog, or that other method. Even <laughs> if you don't win, you and your knife may still be mentioned in future episodes. That's great. Hey, she cost them a t-shirt last week, <laughs> so she go pay the piper. So the winner of the Topps Express You Love for Knives giveaway will receive a brand new Topps Sasbo Express double-edged knife. Can't beat that. Yep. Which received best fixed blade of the year 2022 from AK, if you guys recall. Mm. If you didn't, you could check it out right there in the corner. 2022? Mm-hmm. Wow. I know. You also received some extra swag from AK, which we'll tell you about next week. So make sure to enter and catch the next episode. Yep. So with that, we're back at the table and focusing <clears throat> on the Spartan Blades George Raider deck. No, oh, you're a daisy. That's nice. Okay, so, whew, 12 inches overall with a 7-inch SK5 symmetrical dagger blade, which is dual-sided, and I tested it, so. <laughs> yeah, with black powder coating. The handle is black ejection molded, and, of course, it's that because it prevents missing pieces, cracks, or flaking of the pieces of the hilt. Sure. So. Designed by prolific knife maker and former United States Marine, Les George, to pay homage to the legendary U.S. Marine Corps. Mm-hmm. It's the Raider Stiletto. The Raiders. WW2. This full tang dagger comes with a black injection molded sheath. There you are. And it's about 58 to 60 on the HRC scale. Weighing 7.1 ounces on its own. The knife is built to last. <clears throat> no doodles falling off this here dagger. And it's only 104.84 from AtlanticKnife.com. No. Wow. I think this is one... I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do a bad mamma jamma knife. This is. I would love this thing in my house. I gotta hand it to Spartan Blades. This is a dagger, boys. This is. This is nice. Top notch work. I don't see myself carrying it, but I will display it in my house because it's that nice. Hmm. Maybe I have to like stop an intruder. Do you think? I might go to jail for a long time if I use this, though. Don't mm. If you took it off a knife stand and you were half asleep, yeah, and you didn't cut him right under the fourth rib, you'd probably be okay. Right under the fourth rib? Yeah, with a little upward angle. Ah. Uh, so you tell me if I didn't slice him from nose to navel, I'd be okay. Ah, uh, we say... Can we say that? Nose to navel? I say something else. I'm not sure oh, if I can well, say I that. Probably not. Let's let's. If you don't think so, then go with no. All right. So what do you think of this? That is a rule of thumb. It is a rule. Nice. Right. Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably <laughs> okay, right. Okay. What do you think of this? Even knife? though I did think today we should make a shirt that had a squirrel on it holding a knife that says "Protect your nuts." What do I think? <clears throat> yeah. Well, at first glance, it reminded me of the. Uh, oh, guess what? Let's see how it works. I was just gonna Somebody say, has <laughs> some. Ooh. Yeah. I <laughs> shaved like a piece of paper after I did a little bit of my All arm. Right. So at first glance, it kind of reminded sharp. me of the steel wheel we did uh, oh, yes. a while ago. But then I got to thinking it's about the, the handle on that steel wheel. It is nothing like, like that. that one. That yeah. is a. That's a typical dagger handle that you would like this to carry so nice. and use. This one, this one. I think it's got a good price point. It too. does. It Use SK5, which is a cold steel type steel they use mm -hmm. for years. 100 bucks. I mean, you know, what can you get for 100 bucks anymore? Not what you this, used to. This from AlanaKnife.com. Right. Moving on. 
We got the what? Civivi Concept 22 next. Yes. Two options, which seems to be the norm of their fixed blades. Blackout and OD Green. They're diverse. Yep. We got the Blackout one. This fixed gear is 9.88 inch overall with a 4.8 inch D2 modified Tanto blade with plain edge. Flat grind and on this option, black stone wash finish. Blade comes to about 58 to 16 HRC scale and is offered in silver bead blasted finish. So handle of course is G10, <clears throat> black on this one, and sports a lanyard hole with included black paracord lanyard. I know. Designed by Joff Bluvet of Tough Knife, someone we've actually heard of before. Awesome. This full tank carry is one you'll want to strap to your side and it also comes with a clean cloth stickers and black kydex belt sheet, mm. the clip, and I know. Very nice job, Jeff. Not having a concept is something we aren't familiar with. So, grab it from AtlanticKnife.com for only $92.99. Okay. I like it. Great texture G10. There's a little finger notch here for extra control, you know. And, Taking my choil. Yep. And the style of the blade makes it easy, you know, if you're going to pierce or puncture things without damaging the blade. It's great. All good. I do wonder, though, if Civivi's going to try to do something, like, startling new. I mean, the blade shape is interesting mm. enough. I've never seen something quite like this. But I've seen the same colors and about the same size and about the same style. Oh, uh, come on. They're using their money makers. Enough times. I just think they need to shake it up a little. Yeah, if you got shake a money maker, you should shake it up. That's great. Their fixed blade game needs to be... Just switched up a little. That's just my opinion. <coughs> All right. Nice. I like it. I like the knife. It's very nice. Um, D2, you know, 90 bucks. Yeah. Mm. We'll see. They always Other do than like that, a D2. I know. Display, though, and they so. always put it in the price range where I'm like, mm. eh. I think that's the price range it's supposed to go in. I think it is. If it goes in, oh, yeah, that's too much. Not enough. So, Not enough. Yeah, yeah, if it goes with, mm, to, Ugh. Somewhere in mm, ah, okay. Yep. So we're on to the next <laughs> Those knife. Are levels. This is the last one for this week. Yep. And that is the Beyond EDC Cleaver, or like I like to say, clever cleaver. Ah. It's 8.25 inch overall with a 4.25 inch VG10 cleaver blade. Lots of jumping stone wash finish and plain edge. Yay. This ubiquitous cleaver is a modern take on a timeless classic. I feel like you have to have a glass of wine mm -hmm. spinning around in your hand. Don't drink it. Just smell. And spit. And spit. Yeah. Which is very unclassy. Yeah, Prep for so. field kitchen meals. This viking of a small axe is fit for any hatchet task. This is a nice blade. Excellent G10 handle. I think the ergonomics are pretty good on it. This modified cleaver has a lanyard hole right there. And it comes with a black kydex multi- position sheath. So there it is. Very nice. Yeah. All right. Powerful but compactable EDC. This fixed blade adds leverage and increases chopping power. Never be without a cleaver. It's just 130 at AtlantaKnife.com. All right. What do I think? Well, I'm they're going to hate me. Here we go. Testing out the sheath. Hold on. I like it. It's nice. It's very usable. And uh, I mean, it's a decent size, not the biggest one I've seen. It's mm -hmm. definitely not the smallest one. Go ahead. No. But for this money, I'm getting the tops. Triple dicer. XX dicer. Yeah, because uh, it's got the big head on it that I, if they still make it, I'm assuming they do. I think they do, yeah. I can use it to actually gr make an egg and flip the egg. I mean... Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like this. This is a good good addition to cleaver oh, yeah. knives out there. I just, I've seen a small hatchet or this butcher type cleaver before. I mean, Gerber's done something. Kaiser, I think, did the mini butcher. Oh, everybody has just like one. This. Even tops, like C said. I mean, I'm not really one who has a lot of cleavers. I don't have a huge need for hey, a cleaver. You know if what? I have one, I probably don't use it. So, I'm Off gonna... the top of our head, let's count the number of cleavers we each have. Ready? I have none. Okay. I think I have a cheese cleaver. Oh, you meant in our house? Yeah. Oh, I have one in my house, but like, I meant in my knife collection. Oh. I don't have a cleaver. I don't... I, I would use the big leaf. I hate to bring the big leaf up again. We don't count any like folding blades as cleaver blades, right? We're talking about just regular fixed blade cleavers. I don't even think I have cleavers. one of those. 
Well, I consider you know, the, the sad part the, is, is that I'm not sure if I have one of those. The the Cancept that has that big cleaver blade. Corbett. Yeah, one of those. Oh in mine. well. Okay, one. All right. It. I just. I'm not one who needs more than like one cleaver, if at all. So I'm just gonna chalk this up to not my taste, but an excellent tool if you need it. All right. You guys know what that means. Yeah. Final piece of gear on the table. Don't forget to hit those like, share, comment, and subscribe buttons, even dislike if you want, along with that little white bell in the corner. That way you get notified when any new videos are released, as well as giveaway and product announcements. We're also on social media sites like Facebook, Prentiss, blah, 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 and Rumble. That's great. <laughs> Instagram. Yeah. You can see knife photos, AK updates, and more. And with that, we're on to our favorites. See? Light it up. I'm going to go with this one right here. Shut up. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up! Ah! Erase, erase, erase. <sighs> okay, fine. I'm not going to choose the same one, but it was going to be that one, but I'm going to go with the Spartan Blades. Oh, I meant to go with that dagger. one. Oh, it's too late now. This is just nice. The double edge is nice. It is really, really sharp. It cut a full. It, it will cut a full, yeah. It's not very big, but very deep. That's great. All right. Went and twist. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you need to twist. That probably comes to the back of some of us. That's probably overkill. Like always, I'm C, and that's all that matters. I mean, this is... <laughs> wow. Talk about humble. Humble C and modest. Just Jewel. When, when were that, we talking about humble and modest? I, I thought what thought we were. I thought we said that we couldn't say how great we were, because that was not you didn't say. Classless. I told you to stop saying you, you say, built the tower to Babylon. I would never say I built. And it. we are signing off. You're a daisy if you do. And daisy if I don't. Ahem, yeah. All right, that was manly, wasn't it? Day day. <laughs> Gotta hike up your shorts. My grandma gave me that chain. That's, that's funny. I'm sure that'll be on bloopers. Didn't you say, like, you can't be all like, this is great and yes. we're great? Okay, that's what I thought. So you're over here like, and that's all that matters. <laughs> I was just being I mean, why don't you just be LeBron and do the, the walk, walk, you know? It's or 6.30, 6.19, let's clean it up. He should score. Slam dunk. And that's the game. Hey, I don't have 34 counts against me. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs>